when Neo 12 released, the same day, a new game in the Ace Attorney series released, but I totally forgot that it existed in the hype surrounding Neo The World Ends With You. Now, I do like the Ace Attorney series. I prefer the formula and gameplay of Danganronpa more, but I did play the original trilogy of Ace Attorney games, and I thought they were really cool. So, I wanted to give this game a try, since the Apollo Justice Collection isn't out yet. So, this is my experience playing the Great Ace Attorney Chronicles. Enjoy! By the way, I'm gonna treat this playthrough like I did the Rain Code series and show you the whole mystery so you can solve it alongside me. So, if you get sections of the video where I am talking, but I am just reading the dialogue, that is why. The ambulance of that era was just the beginning of an extraordinary story. Are we defending ourselves? My name is Ry Ryunosuke Naruhoto. That's a name. I'm a second year student at Imperial Yume University. Three days ago, I somehow found myself in the middle of a horrifying incident, and now here I am, awaiting my trial. Cosmo Sogi, my best friend, also in his second year at Yuma University, but he's far more clever than I, a star student in fact. He's even a qualified lawyer, impressive considering he's still an undergraduate. Are you like Maya Faye's ancestor? I think that's how this goes. My name is Yujin Mikotoba. As I recall, he's been pushing to get the government to agree to Cosmo studying abroad. Asogi has told me about you. You and your best friends, I understand. As such, I feel you should know. Well, if you know that her, Asogi has been granted permission to go and study. However, if you fail to defend in today's trial, I'm afraid that permission will be revoked and never granted again. Kazuma Asogi must not be the defense lawyer of this trial. I don't like the looks of these people sitting in the gallery. Lots of military and other uniforms are in there. The powers that be have demanded that this be a secret trial. A secret trial? A trial that's closed to ordinary member of the public. So it's closed windows for who advocates for the defendant in this trial. Irene Nosuke Nahara will be defending myself. Yes! Yes! The victim's name was Dr. John H. Wilson. The fact is, I was there at the scene of the crime. So I went over to the professor's table. Now this guy will speak in a British accent. And introduced myself to Dr. Wilson. <laughs> in the West, a doctor dissects corpses to identify the cause of death in an autopsy. But here in Japan, a police officer merely inspects the body and draws conclusions that way. What? You can clearly discern scorch marks around the bullet hole produced by the powder explosion. In other words, we should assume that the victim was shot at close range. Thank you, counsel. The court will accept this modern scientific evidence into the record. We love science! I love playing games that take place in the past and then laughing at them for how things were in the past because I'm a zoomer. Of course, my name is Satoru Hanasoga. I am the head waiter at a western style restaurant called La Carnival. No, there was no one else around that table but the deceased Englishman and the university student. When I went over to Dr. Wilson to say hello, there was a woman sitting opposite him at his table. I actually have a rough plan of the restaurant as it was that day. Please, have a look if you'd like to. I'm afraid I used the back of my business card. It was a turbulent situation. However, as you can see, the gentleman in question was seated alone. The court will take this plan and add it to the court record as evidence. Oh, um, well... Is there a problem? Hand the plan to the court officer at once. Um, of course, here you are. What was that about? He's been completely... Is he all... Are we already getting to the murderer? Is he, like... Okay, so he's the murderer, right? Yes, sir. The Great Nippon's Imperial Army Sergeant. Ayaso Nosa. Reporting for duty, sir. Myself, I find employed as a purveyor of fine articles of anti antiquity from the effervescence of our nation, Nippon, and conduct my trade for Mastier, a humble premises in the 2nd District. 
Kuyo Kokureta if, at your service. Both of these gentlemen were present at the restaurant at the day in question. I was on my hands and knees investigating the whereabouts of the mysterious absconded previous Kuyo. Is that really true, Ryunosuke? Yes, all I did was pick up the gun I saw lying on the floor. After I said hello to Dr. Wilson, I went back to my table and started drinking some coffee. Then, when I'd finished, I got up from my seat to leave the restaurant. But I noticed an English made gun next to the chair where the professor was sitting. I thought- And you picked it up? I thought perhaps the professor had dropped it, so I bent down, and I was just picking it up. Why was he on those hands and knees? So you're saying you actually saw me at that time? Oh, affirmative! I saw you laughing, cackling like a madman as you trained the barrel of your gun. Thinking carefully about the statement you just made, it seems to me that it must have been just after you heard the gunshot that you looked over to the victim's table. It would mean that you didn't, in fact, see the precise moment the killer actually killed the man. He was shot from the front! Sergeant, according to your witness statement, the culprit shot the victim from behind. And that is the obvious discrepancy here. It is evident, but on all reasonable doubt, that the victim was alone at the time of the incident. The prosecution has photographic evidence of this fact. The table is which the victim was dining. Taken by an investigator immediately, I, there was only one place set. Let's have a look. This is some kind of medical history. And there's an entry for the day the professor was killed. Extraction of molar with topical anesthesia the medical practitioner. Strictly no food or drink beside. Ah, so the woman was eating and not him. I think it's fair to say that the tables in this restaurant case have turned. I hate you. It's painfully clean out. You tried to prevent these witnesses from telling the truth. Absolutely not. The prosecution knows nothing of this. Oh, so they are covering it up intentionally. Yeah, that's the whole point of Ace Attorney. <laughs> I love his weak little... Usunaga san sketched the plan of the restaurants on the revert side of the business card. The front of that business card reveals the man's in question's profession. His true profession. The waiter's profession, but that surely... Good gracious! That's right, Your Excellency. The card reads, Chief Inspector, Primary Criminal Investigation Division. Of course, your salary must be terrible. I was working undercover. As soon as I heard the gunshot, I ran out of the kitchen to see what had happened. The victim sat slumped in his chair, and beside him, gun in hand, stood the accused student. Sitting opposite the victim at the same table was a young lady, who I guessed to be an English woman. The prosecution must call the English student, Jesse Brett, to the witness stand. It appears the lady did witness the crime, the very moment when the accused, standing right here in this courtroom, shot the victim in cold blood. It's all very well saying that, but can you prove it? Absolutely, I verified it personally. And, yes, immediately after the incident, I checked to make sure the lady was not carrying a weapon. I distinctly remember her saying, I'm not. That's all you did? You just asked her? I have permission to drink water, so it appears that the diner had toasted their lunch with a glass of water each. But there's only one glass of water at the table. There's only one glass here. Miss Brett told us that she and the professor said choose over a glass of water. But if that's true, there should be two glasses on the table, not one. It would seem that she slipped it into a small handbag she was carrying. A handbag, you say? Yes, a small handheld pouch commonly well that could be where you held your gun! Let me see, a little while ago, Miss Brett said the following. There are no pockets in my outfit. I have nowhere to hide a gun. But, what she forgot to mention was her handbag. This print is of a photograph that I thought would be prudent to take immediately after the shooting. Look at this, here. There's a very unusual mark on the victim's wrist. That is true. It looks almost like a burn of some description. As you can see, there's an emblem on this plate. I guess it would say it's some sort of trademark of La Carnival. The emblem on the plate, well, is the professor had laid his wrist on the plate. Would have heard that. Like, 
question is, why didn't a single person hear Dr. Wilson scream? We've been led into a terrible trap! What? Was already dead. What is this? The bottle of water? Actually, there is one method of killing a man without leaving a trace that comes to mind. Obviously, I'm referring to poison. Naturally, we tested the inside of the bottle's contents. I ordered a test for every toxin that's available in this country at the present time. In this country! Then maybe it came from Britain. But I'm getting bored of it all now. It's time for the games to end. Cheers! Hmm. No sparkle left at all. It's only when it goes through the wounds! The poison starts to work after entertaining, entering the body through a wound. When Cure enters the body through an open wound, it has terrifying poisonous effects. However, when it enters the body via the mouth, it has no poisonous effects whatsoever. Miss Brett, you authored this research. You knew Kurea's special characteristics, and you knew that you could make a spectacle of drinking that water without any danger to yourself. Oh, he entered through the wound in his tooth! What if there was a wound inside the mouth of the person drinking the poison water? Poison water? Like the wound you might have if you just had been to the dentist and had a tooth extracted. Miss Brett, you've acknowledged many times in your testimony already that you were well aware of Dr. W Dr. Wilson's dental appointment already. You see, when you leave vital evidence lying around, you never know what might happen to it. I mean, it could just slip. Oh dear, how careless of me. I'm afraid some crucial evidence may have just been tragically destroyed. And somehow this proves me wrong? The plate of steak is almost directly behind the victim. If I'm supposed to have shot Dr. Wilson in the chest from the front, there's no way the blood from the victim should have ended up directly behind him. You did what? I took the steak that you had been eating, Miss Brett. I took the steak that the sergeant had been eating. No, no blood. No, you took the, you took the steak the sergeant ate. But how does this relate to the the murder? Uh. Play Jojo? Do any of you know of the extraordinarily low wages that the Napoleon era Imperial Army pays those to keep our country safe? True! Capitalism be like! What? Ah! These fucking breakdowns just get more ridiculous as the series goes on. <laughs> What? Uh, goodbye! Oh, we are friends now. You only get one because you're the prosecutor. Yeah, once you're in jail. Thank you. Good day then, everyone. I hope you can forgive me, Naruto san. What? Are you just getting away scot-free? No! Put her in jail! She literally just admitted to murder! We cannot try this particular foreigner for her crimes here in Japan. A British consular court will your case somewhere far away where our voices can't be heard. I simply don't understand. I thought consul court, consular courts were a thing of the past since we signed the Friendship Treaty. Yes, in normal circumstances, you're right. So then long as this is not a serious incident of highly political nature to our respective governments, they can't invoke a consular court just like that. Oh, can't they? Yeah, she's a student, but it doesn't justify our governments making secret agreements about her fate. Something strange is going on. So Ms. Brett can't be held accountable for her actions here in Japan. Wait, oh, wait, I forgot wait, about Shom. 
in time. I know he's in this game. I know people love him. So then, let us unravel this mystery <laughs> and discover what events led to this curious murder. Pray, do excuse me. The cabin door was bolted from the inside when the man was killed. Locker room murder. to suggest the bolt was tampered with in any way. So, this would appear to be a locked room mystery. Well, what have we here? <laughs> Who are you? And what do you think you're doing here? Heavy? No one must touch before America Heavy weapons, guys? What the? Why am I in handcuffs? Hmm, so you're awake. We had to drag you out of the wardrobe. I do not believe how you could not wake up. You're a true cold-blooded man. Um, where is he? Where's Kazuma? Ah, you pretend you do not know. You are wolf in sheep's belt. You are the killer. Do not try to make excuses. Kazuma's fucking dead? Thing in your sleep. Kazuma's dead? But he can't be. And these handcuffs. Surely you don't think I... No! Really? You stowed away? Yes, I still can't quite believe that. I know it's cramped, but you better get in there, I think. It won't be for long. And anyway, compared to hiding inside my traveling case, it'll be a breeze. Why don't you write keep out or something on this piece of paper? Then I can stick it over the wardrobe doors once you're inside. Tell me, when I was discovered in the wardrobe before, was this piece of paper stuck over the doors? Oh, yes it was. I remember clearly. Kazuma always put it in place whenever I went to sleep in there. Just in case the cabin steward or another crew member tried to look inside. So, he did the same last night as well. Yes, of course. The gentleman who discovered you peeled that sign from the wardrobe doors before he opened them. But if I truly were the culprit, I couldn't have climbed back inside the wardrobe and stuck this on the outside of the doors on my own. Yes, that's quite true. In other words, it's impossible that I killed Kazuma. Isn't that a little odd? Well, this ventilator, if that's what it is, looks like it must connect to the next door cabin. Greeting! Greeting! I hope I haven't startled you. Ah! You have fled your native land of Russia, being, as you are, a merciless revolutionary. You leave 16 victims of assassination in your wake and now travel to England to blow up the Crystal Tower. And, when the bourbon the occupant of this very cabin discovered your identity, you ended his life too. I'm none other than the greatest detective of the century, known to many women the world over. The intimidable Herlock Jones. Why is he called that? Ah yes, the more sordid details. It is a very commonplace deduction. Here you have this morning's paper. The main headline reads... Revolutionary villain Bolshevik flees Russia via Shanghai. It's about the disappearance of a young lady last night. Renown prima ballerina of the Novik ba Novavik Palerina disappears from Shanghai. During a performance in Shanghai, the famous dancer was reported missing. She is, of course, the talented Nikolina Pavel... Pavel. It seemed the woman was in costume when she was found to be missing from her dressing room. Wearing the damaged hair if you picture, which is worth some 20,000 rubies. This... This was taken immediately after the, after the young man was discovered, before the body was removed. The final entry in Cosmos in Cosmos diary consists of two short sentences. The first reads, 1.23 a.m. I can hear a faint whistling sound. 1.35 a.m. What looks like some sort of speckled band is dangling from the ventilator door. It's... F f oh my fucking god. He's a recurring character? You seem to have caught the sailor on a bad day. I am not sailor. My mother gave me a name. I am senior crewman Beef Str Really? She, she, she beef till I'm strogan off? She beef on my strogan off till I... She strogan me off till I beef? Could you tell us who's traveling in the cabin next to Mr. Sobeys? His name is Mr. Grimsby Royal. His name is really Beef Stroganoff? How annoying. Ah! What was that? It came from inside the cabin. Such a high-pitched scream. It must have been a woman. You heard a woman scream. A woman? 
Don't be absurd. As you can see, there is nobody but me in this cabin. Please excuse the intrusion, but you're Mr. Grimsby Roylott, I believe. Yes, that's me. Could this man be a more happy portrayal of a dubious Russian, I ask you? What? From time to time, it occurs to me that this fellow is dubious on account of his Russianness, or uh, is he Russian on account of his dubious? This seems racist. Is this game racist? Mr. Roller, I have reached two incontrollable co conclusions. Number one, your true identity is that of a villain. Using those shears, you are about to end the existence of something most dear. Are you not? Oh. And number two, the other conclusion I have drawn, you are, at this very moment no less, in the midst of committing the most grievous crime. You need that beard, your mouth quivers with nervous tension as you realize you have been discovered. Does it not? For some reason, this woman needed to... She's not an abductee, she's a runaway! True identity, of course, is the article about the ballerina. That's right, you hit the nail on the head. I, li I like that animation. We're gonna see the ballerina disappears from Shanghai. As you see, the trunk wobbles from time to time, but no weapon or other dangerous item would move on its own accord. Which leads to one possibility, Miss Pavlova, inside your traveling case. Your friend is a snake! And it somehow escaped and got into the vent. Damage to the cervical vertebrae is what is written in the report. His neck was snapped. Yes, it would seem so. There were no other obvious wounds or signs of injury, so at first I think they were considering poison. But it turns out they found no trace of poison in his system at all. Actually, now that you mention it, yes, just one thing, but he practically shouted it. It's shoe polish, was all he said. Perhaps he was talking about this brick colored mark, do you think? Kazuma Sama was wearing one of the shoes with a very dark tan hue. Way. Mr. Schultz! Oh, what is it? You really want to fight? Hmm? <laughs> Bros, bros hitting the Mario Idol stance in Smash Bros. Oh, he writes that in every 30 minutes. Nothing to report. Precisely, but simply, the seaman writes nothing to report when there is just that. And yet, the ship's log from last night is largely blank. He didn't even write nothing to report. That means there was something to report that he wanted to keep hidden. Don't worry yourself. I seem to have been afflicted with a throbbing head this morning for some reason, nothing more. Did someone, like, drug everyone on board of this? Shut down the engines immediately! Vessel side at a quarter mile four! First stop! Part to starboard! All hands, brief for impact! I think we're about to crash into another ship. I can't stand! This is out hold on to me! The bolt. The door's bolted. Did you do that, Cesar-san? No, I didn't touch it. I think we did collide, and it slid over. The bolt slid over. Wait, that means we collided earlier, and no one mentioned it. Someone must have thought he saw a ship ahead. This person obviously triggered the alarm, and that's why we made the emergency stop. Oh, I see. Someone triggered the alarm. Does that mean that someone pressed that button outside? Enough! You are all guilty! Ships are only place fit for you! Some savior has to rescue me through this crisis. What?! <laughs> what the fuck?! <laughs> what?! <laughs> what the fuck?! <laughs> what are you doing up there? Because, as everyone knows, the cabin door was bolted shut from the inside. 
It was both a shot when someone hit the alarm. Someone killed him, walked outside, hit the alarm, and that bolted the door shut. That's what happened. Without a doubt, your friend is the little kitten we see before us. Yes, the scratch on the back of your hand makes that abundantly clear. After her feline friend disappeared through the ventilator into the neighboring cabin, Miss Pavlova attempted to use the Spackle Cat's door to incite the creature to return. Mr. Sogan must have caught his foot at that point in the floor and tripped. Please, no. And by a dreadful turn of misfortune, caught his neck against some unmovable object as he fell to the floor. That's right, you hid the evidence that links you to the victim's death in this waste paper basket. I love the diegetic music. Here we have a fragment of some intricate glass object you have seen, one that has a familiar air, in fact. Precisely. We found another piece of broken glass on the floor in Mr. Osogi's cabin. And as you can see, the two pieces fit together perfectly. A bell? Maybe the kitten had it on his collar? So, Miss Pavlova, shall we consider what this tells us? The young man who lost his last night life last night did so after a very truly inaspicuous fall. And the cause of that fateful stumble? He tripped over the cat and died. Your absent feline friend, Darka! He tripped over the cat. That's what we're going with. A young man lost his life. If you're going to attempt to cover up your guilt with lies, then... No matter what the circumstances, I cannot forgive you. She just confessed everything. It was just a series of unfortunate events. An accident. I'm no great detective like Mr. Sholmes. I don't have a gift for knowing the truth. But even I can see, that was not the truth. Don't you agree, Mr. Naruto? But we've already established it, haven't we? The man tripped over the kitten that had climbed into the cabin via the ventilator. Tragic, yes, but still an accident. The truth is clearly recorded in this photographic print. There's no way that Mr. Sogi could have left a message on the floor. That script, it's Russian, isn't it? That was a guess. This, this piece of broken glass next to the mark on the floor. That's the glass bell that came around on the, on the neck. It was broken in half when the victim tripped over it and fell, so we already have a satisfactory explanation. Unfortunately, there's a very big flaw, a fatal flaw. If that's really what happened, then how did one half of the bell end up back here in this cabin? Are you saying that last night after Mr. Sogi was killed, Yeah, that's what I'm saying. The ship lurched so violently and the alarm bell was so loud. I can't believe that anyone would sleep through that, even if it happened in the dead of the night. Well, no, that that's a good point. The headache! It's because we were all drugged! You are right. We put sleeping drug in chicken last night. She has such petite ears among that beautiful hair, like little pink shells. There's something dangling down from your ear. The other earring! She only has one earring! I mean, I guess that could be a fashion statement. There's something attached to her ear. I expect why that's called an earring, a little piece of jewelry. An earring, is it? It really is tiny. Perhaps part of it is missing. It broke off, so now all that's left is the clasp part that attaches to the ear. If that's the case, she doesn't appear to have noticed that it's broken. I noticed the dainty jewelry you're wearing on your ears, Miss Pavlova. We would have found a piece of those earrings in the Sogi cabin. Although, we haven't actually found anything yet, so we didn't. What is this? Yes! If the ink had been dry, it couldn't possibly have stained your uniform in that way. Which means... You must have been present in the cabin in the moment immediately after. The... It was beef stroganoff! He stroked my beef till we- uh, Alright, if he really fell due to an unfortunate accident, then this fist doesn't seem quite right. The exact same thought occurred to me. In a fall, one's instinct is to open the palms flat. Yet here we see the victim with his left hand tightly balled into a fist. 
I was investigating the victim's fist a short while ago. And what, pray, do you imagine I found there, my dear fellow? You fucking bitch! I knew it! I called it! But the game didn't let me pick it! Why is there no... Why are we all solving this now instead of in a... Instead of in a court portion? I missed the court portions! Where the fuck are the court portions? That's like the whole point of Ace Attorney! The young man from your country. He was very polite and kind. He helped me to find Darka, and he promised not to tell anyone. But then, when I had my friend in arms at my arms again and I was going to leave the man's cabin, he ran away. Please, please keep my secret. Don't tell anyone. Give me a moment. I could use another opinion here. He's going to pull that cord. He's going to tell the captain. Then it happened. Everything at once. Well oh, he was actually going to the wardrobe. Help me, Biff. If they find out, I will be... Please, I have nowhere to go. So you decided to help. And that's when you arranged things in Kazuma's cabin to make it look like I did it. So no one would suspect the passenger in the cabin next door. Yes, I went into the cabin and I looked around to make sure there was nothing to show Nina was there. Then I found Stowaway. In wardrobe. Still sleeping. Right, that's when he found me. So you worked out a plan to lay the blame on the Stowaway. Considering everything that had happened last night, certainly it may have looked that Cosmo was going to ring the bell cord. Yes, however... What is directly besides the bell cord? The wardrobe. Where he knew I was hiding. The wardrobe? And more importantly, what was inside the wardrobe? The man's great friend, sleeping soundly. So where is the court section? Isn't Ace Attorney all about doing court shit? Well, I want to be a lawyer! This is the lawyer game! Steven Shoto? Oh yeah, you should be putting put in jail for aiding and abetting! We shall be disembarking at next port in Hong Kong. We have to return to Japan and make a full report about everything that's happened. Wait a minute, it's just me that has to go back, right? I mean, I was the stowaway. The terms of this study tour were both negotiate, were negotiated by the Department of Justice in both Great Britain and Japan. It's supposed to be one lawyer and one assistant. In the light of Mr. Asogi's un unfortunate death, I'm afraid the study tour can no longer go ahead. My dear fellows, the majority of problems have, a ma have an extraordinarily simple solution. All you require is one lawyer, and the study tour can continue, surely? But there is no one else with the necessary qualifications, Mr. Holmes. We know of no other lawyer. Yes? Do you think perhaps I might be able to do it? But as I said, there is still more than a month before we reach England's shore. Isn't that right, Mr. Naharto? I have a month in which to study, to learn what I need to become a lawyer. But why put yourself in such a difficult position? For Kazuma, he said there was something he had to do in Great Britain. And he said he would sacrifice anything to make it happen. Please throw me to the ground. Three times. I should never have doubted you. You were Kazuma-sama's closest friend. Of course you would- Oh. Why is this game making me cry, dude? This is better written- I will say this takes death bet more better than Rain Code, but- and Dang and Rampa, but I prefer the wackiness of those games, like it's more fun to play, and it's more fun to- but this is- Oh, That should have been obvious from the start, but I allowed suspicion to get the better of me, and no matter how upset I was feeling, it was completely unforgivable behavior. I would have you've been so kind as to instruct me the techniques of your arresting throw. Yes, I'd be honored. L let us not dally. Demonstrate, my dear madam. Oh, of course. Are you ready, Mr. Nahoto? Cool, thanks. Well, at least Suzato made some progress in her character.